This is how you complete the maiden voyage without completing any objectives that the pirate lord gives you. So the first thing you need to do when you spawn at the maiden voyage is you need to completely ignore Ramsey because he's no help at all. Head to your ship. Your ship is all you're going to need. Now you'll notice when you get up to your ship that your anchor is currently not unable to be interacted with. You cannot raise your anchor. Here's how we're going to fix that. Grab your harpoon. Harpoon as far out as you can and pull. Wait until you hear the ticking sound of the harp harpoon. You can pull your ship with your harpoon even while you're anchored. It's a way of getting your ship unstuck from docks. Now that I've pulled my ship using my harpoon, I'll be able to raise the anchor. And now that I've raised the anchor, I can go ahead and grab some wood. Pull up my mast. And repair it using the wood. Bear in mind, I haven't even opened my equipment radial yet. And we're going to drop sails and head to the Sea of Thieves. Now what's interesting about this, what's very interesting about the way that we're completing the Maiden Voyage right now, is that it's horrifying because the Pirate Lord hasn't parted the Shroud for you yet. So you actually have to sail through the Shroud in order to get to the Sea of Thieves. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And if you're a player first playing this game through the Maiden Voyage and this is what you see, you'd probably quit the game forever because it's fucking horrifying. And we're going to go ahead and sail through the beacons like you normally would during the Maiden Voyage. And all you really need to do is follow the wind. It's going to be a lot less visible, so the, the way through, you just have to follow the wind because you can't really see where you're going. But an experienced pirate can pierce the veil on his own. That's what the Pirate Lord did, after all. Because the game is in this bugged state, it will never play any of the cutscenes that would normally be played during the Maiden Voyage sail. So, you will see the beacon's light that you have to sail through, and you will see some ships that are beached or shipwrecked, but I don't think you'll be able to see the Kraken or any of the skeleton ships that you normally would see on your way to the Sea of Thieves. And then there's going to be one last beacon that lights here, which is where you have to sail towards in order to finish the maiden voyage. There it is. And you'll see, now that we're nearing the Sea of Thieves, the shroud, it's fucking horrifying, but you're not taking any damage because this is the maiden voyage. So I'm, I'm actually sailing through the Red Sea right now. And it even slows your ship down the way it normally would during the cutscene here, but nothing is actually happening with any of the ships. Like, there's no skeleton ship and there's no Kraken to see, as you can see. All there is is, a, is, a, is that shipwreck there, that shipwrecked galleon. And it sounds like we're hitting an invisible barrier right now, but our ship isn't slowing down. There's the final beacon. Here we go, we're hitting another invisible barrier here. There's the fort off in the distance. Maiden Voyage music starts playing. And here we go. We have pierced the shroud and enter the Sea of Thieves, and the Pirate Lord didn't help at all. Hold Q to open equipment radio. I like how the sun freaks out as well, like, oh shit, I wasn't in position.
Welcome to the Sea of Thieves. Just remember everybody, hold Q to open your equipment radio. Feel free to try this on your own game. It doesn't hurt anybody. The Maiden Voyage is fully single player. Um, it's just a little bit of fun. So, thanks for watching.